Welcome back to Shuttermongers. Today we're diving into the magical world of Patronuses. These silvery, animal-shaped protectors are some of the most powerful defenses against dark creatures like Dementors. But more than that, they reveal a wizard or witch's innermost character, reflecting their deepest emotions and personal traits. So what exactly is a Patronus? The Patronus Charm is one of the most powerful defensive spells in the wizarding world, used primarily to fend off Dementors by conjuring an animal-shaped guardian. It requires deep concentration on a happy memory, one filled with pure, untainted joy. The ability to summon a Patronus is rare and difficult, and not every witch or wizard can do it. The charm is a reflection of the caster's personality, but only those with pure-hearted intentions can produce one. Some wizards can summon only a non-corporeal, mist-like Patronus, while the most skilled conjure a full corporeal Patronus, which takes on the form of an animal. In this video, we'll be counting down the 20 most iconic Patronuses from the Harry Potter series. From the familiar faces we all know and love, to some Patronuses you might not expect, Stay tuned as we explore what makes each of these Patronuses so unique and the emotional significance behind them. Who's at number one? You'll have to watch to find out. Dolores Umbridge's Patronus is a Persian cat, symbolizing her love for control, superiority, and her manipulative nature. It's also fitting given her obsession with kittens and the dark undertones of her character. Umbridge is one of the few dark-aligned witches capable of producing a Patronus, showcasing her strong magical ability. Arthur Weasley's Patronus is a weasel. Known for their quick wit and resourcefulness, the weasel symbolizes Arthur's cleverness and love for his family. The connection to his family name is obvious, but it also represents his protective nature, especially when defending his loved ones. The magpie shared by Fred and George Weasley is a playful and mischievous bird, fitting perfectly with the twins' personalities. Magpies are known for their curiosity and intelligence, always attracted to shiny, fun things just like Fred and George, who bring laughter and lightness wherever they go. Ernie McMillan conjures a boar Patronus. The boar is a symbol of strength, determination, and resilience. Ernie's character shows these traits, especially his bravery and loyalty as a member of Dumbledore's army. Though not a central character, Ernie's boar reflects his fighting spirit during the Battle of Hogwarts. Aberforth Dumbledore's Patronus is a goat, which is both humorous and fitting, as Aberforth is known for his affinity for goats. His bar is named the Hog's Head, with a goat as its emblem. The goat may also symbolize stubbornness and independence, traits that Aberforth displays in his more rugged, non-conforming lifestyle. Cho Chang's Swan Patronus is graceful, elegant, and pure. Much like her character, swans are often symbols of beauty, fidelity, and love, reflecting Cho's relationship with Cedric Diggory and her emotional struggles following his death. It shows that despite the fragility of her emotions, she has an inner strength. Seamus Finnegan's Fox Patronus is cunning and adaptable. Foxes are known for their quick wits and survival instincts, characteristics that Seamus shows in times of crisis. His ability to adapt and fight during the Battle of Hogwarts demonstrates his resourcefulness. Kingsley Shacklebolt conjures a lynx, a symbol of strength, sharp instincts, and stealth. This Patronus perfectly fits Kingsley, who is calm, strategic, and incredibly skilled in dueling. As a high-ranking auror and protector, Kingsley's lynx represents his leadership and unwavering commitment to justice.
Ginny Weasley's Patronus is a horse, a symbol of freedom, strength, and loyalty. Horses are known for their resilience and independent spirit, qualities that Ginny embodies throughout the series. Her courage in standing up for what's right and fighting in the Battle of Hogwarts is reflected in this Patronus. Minerva McGonagall's Patronus is a cat, which corresponds with her animagus form. Cats are symbols of independence, intelligence, and keen observation, traits McGonagall shows as a teacher and leader. Her Patronus also emphasizes her quick thinking and protective nature. James Potter's stag Patronus is a noble and proud creature, symbolizing strength, protection, and leadership. The stag also represents James' animagus form, prongs, which allowed him to accompany Remus Lupin during his werewolf transformations. This powerful Patronus signifies his protective instincts, especially towards his family. Lily Potter's doe Patronus is deeply tied to her loving and nurturing nature. The doe, a symbol of grace and beauty, reflects Lily's compassionate and gentle spirit. The connection between her doe Patronus and Severus Snape's identical Patronus is one of the most profound emotional links in the series, symbolizing Snape's unrequited love for her. Severus Snape's Doe Patronus mirrors Lily Potter's, symbolizing his lifelong love for her. This Patronus is one of the most emotional in the series, revealing Snape's true motives and the depth of his character. His Patronus serves as a powerful reminder of his undying loyalty to Lily, even after her death. Albus Dumbledore's Patronus is a phoenix, a creature symbolizing rebirth, immortality, and hope. The phoenix represents Dumbledore's resilience, wisdom, and his constant pursuit of the greater good. It also ties into his connection with Fox, his beloved phoenix companion who saves Harry on multiple occasions. Harry Potter's stag Patronus is both a reflection of his father, James, and a symbol of Harry's own bravery, strength, and leadership. The stag represents protection, and Harry often conjures it in moments of intense need to defend others, particularly during his encounters with Dementors. The stag symbolizes the strong, guiding force of Harry's love and courage. Hermione Granger's Otter Patronus is playful, intelligent, and resourceful, much like Hermione herself. Otters are also one of J.K. Rowling's favorite animals, which inspired this choice. The otter reflects Hermione's quick thinking nature and her ability to adapt in difficult situations. Ron Weasley's Patronus is a Jack Russell Terrier a loyal, energetic, and protective breed. This Patronus reflects Ron's loyalty to his friends and family. Interestingly, Jack Russells are known for chasing otters, which is a playful connection to Hermione's otter Patronus. Remus Lupin's Patronus was a normal wolf, not a werewolf, reflecting their non-threatening and family-oriented nature. However, Lupin had a deep dislike for anything related to wolves due to his affliction as a werewolf. This caused him to shy away from producing a corporeal Patronus, opting instead to cast non-corporeal ones, especially when others were watching. The wolf Patronus served as a constant reminder of his condition, which disgusted him. Despite teaching Harry the Patronus charm, Lupin's emotional conflict with his identity led him to avoid revealing his own Patronus in its full form. Luna Lovegood's hair Patronus is as unique and eccentric as she is. Hairs are known for their agility, independence, and their ability to evade danger. 
Much like Luna, who often dances to her own tune, her Patronus reflects her free spirit and unwavering belief in the unusual. Tonk's Patronus originally took the form of a hare, but after falling in love with Remus Lupin, it transitioned into a wolf. This emotional transformation is unique and deeply tied to her love for Lupin, who is a werewolf. The change in Patronus signifies the deep bond they share and Tonks's acceptance of Lupin's condition. This rare occurrence of a Patronus changing shape makes Tonks's Patronus one of the most emotionally significant in the series. That's it for today's countdown of the most fascinating Patronuses in the wizarding world. Patronuses aren't just magical creatures. They're reflections of the caster's soul, symbolizing strength, love, loyalty, and sometimes even transformation. What's your Patronus? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't checked it already, you can discover your Patronus on the official Wizarding World website. I'll link it in the description for you. If you'd like to check out the full list of every kind of Patronus that exists, I've already made a video, and I'll link that in the description as well. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Shuttermongers for more magical content. Hit the bell icon to get notified about our next video. Until next time, stay enchanted.